So, uh, yeah, they really need to make new bubble shit because this bubble stuff doesn't last very long. Maybe the bubbles are supposed to indicate when you're supposed to get the hell out of the bubble bath. So I was just watching Cinderella and it got me thinking about what the hell is happening inside these movies. And no wonder we turn out as messed up as we are. Do you guys realize the kind of shit that goes down in these movies? What appear to be these fantasy, beautiful, happily ever after tales actually have a lot of holes in these stories. There's a lot of shit you don't even pay attention to as a little kid, but when you watch it as an adult, you realize that that would not work in real life. Okay, Cinderella. Number one, bitch, you can't even walk in heels. You left your shoe at the party. How much did you drink that you didn't even notice? I'm sorry. In all my years of partying, I've never left a shoe at a party. That shit's mad embarrassing. Second of all, she talks to rodents. She has like this posse of mice, which clearly indicate that she's doing an awful job as a maid because she has this huge rat infestation problem going on in the castle. No wonder the stepsisters are mean to her. And then they make her dress. Cinderella, Cinderella, what are you wearing? Oh, <laughs> this, uh, this is Mice. Mice by, by Mice, uh, it's a new designer. Then this prince finds the shoe and walks around the whole city with the shoe like Cinderella is the only bitch that's a size seven in the whole town. Brilliant. Yeah, that's the way to find her. Oh, not, not because you don't remember her face or anything, because you were dancing with her all night long, but you remember her foot. Seems to me like somebody's got a foot fetish. Hi, um, I've, I've got this shoe, yeah, Ansi. Um, I was just wondering if uh, uh, the women in your house could uh, try this on. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a little test, because I uh, see there's this chick that I was dancing with, and. Uh, Moving along, Rapunzel. Dude climbing up your hair is not sexy. Buy a ladder. That shit is causing breakage. I'm just saying, tell him like it is. Snow White. Now that's a dysfunctional movie, seriously. Okay, number one, the stepmother wants to be the hottest bitch ever. She's staring at herself in the mirror every day. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Actually, uh, there's this... Fly ass bitch that just moved in and then Snow White, hot as fuck. And then she goes to the forest, runs away, and she finds these seven midget dudes that all live together in this house. God knows what they do, but they're all diamond miners. And they live in this tiny ass cottage. Like, where is that money going? I don't even know. I mean, they may be cute and have adorable names and everything, but these are grown ass men with needs. And I'm sure they're very tired of having sex with each other. And all of a sudden, bam, Snow White comes over. Snow White? I don't know what you were doing in exchange for free rent. Let's just leave it there. So, Little Mermaid. Couple things wrong here. They show her, like, with the legs, coming up to the world, and learning how to, like, be a human. But what about all of a sudden having a vagina? Hello? Did Sebastian the crab tell her? Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Ah. And the message that the Little Mermaid is giving to little girls is, shut the fuck up, give away your voice, have nice legs, and you'll get your man. And then Aladdin. Everybody knows that Aladdin just wanted to live in the palace. He said it at the beginning of the movie. And then he ends up coincidentally just falling in love with Princess Jasmine. But he's just a social climber. And he's a liar, and he's a thief, and he hangs out with a monkey. Good going, Jasmine. And you're setting a fantastic example for all the little girls when choosing a man. Choose a fucking thug that steals and lies and has fleas. Awesome. Beauty and the Beast, finally we have a chick that we can relate to. You know, she's pretty, girl next door type, nerdy, likes to read books, she's not a princess or a queen or super rich or lives in a palace. You know, Belle is super chill. But then we find out that she's into bestiality. 
which is not only illegal, but kind of gross. So what I'm left with is why isn't she banging Gaston, who's super hot, super champion of hunting and has mad trophies? I guess the lesson there is if you really, really love an ugly guy and, you know, like him for who he is, then he's going to all of a sudden break out of the spell and get really hot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is untrue. If you marry an ugly guy, chances are he's just going to get uglier. I personally think the beast was hotter as a beast. Man, Disney is full of assholes. And I love Disney, you guys. I don't want you to get me wrong. I grew up to this shit. I love it. But Disney is full of dickheads and stupid girls. The only one that was close to being smart was Meg from Hercules. Because that bitch did not want to admit that she was in love. And she was a bitch to him. And Hercules was a jock and an idiot. But she, you know, played hard to get. And that's the message we should be teaching. Play hard to get, duh. Why can't they just make a movie with a normal dude that works in sales? You know? Oh yeah, I'm dating this guy. He's a graphic designer. And then you can still have interesting shit happen. He doesn't have to be this like unreachable guy or guy on FBI's most wanted list. There can be a happy medium, guys. All right. Once again, my bubbles have started to dissipate. And I think it's time for me to get out of the bathtub. My advice. Notice that the word Prince Charming has the word harming in it. Take the C out. Because those motherfuckers are going to be harming your heart.